In this video, you are going to watch, the most likely food, by the non-vegetarians. Yes, it's about the broiler chicken. Is that the broiler chicken came naturally, or it was created by humans? We always have a question with us, whether the chicken came out first or the egg. Generally, there are two types of chickens, that are reared in poultry farming. They are layers and broilers. Layers are only reared for eggs, while broilers are reared for meat. More than 1,600 different chicken breeds, are recognized worldwide. They are the result of centuries of natural selection, cross-breeding, and breeding within flocks. Millions of growers of trade are going on through this chicken meat. Can you believe, all this happened because of the women? You have to believe. It was an American woman who brought it. Her name is Cicely Longsteel. She is a native of Ocean City. In 1923, Cicely ordered 50 chicks from a farmer, for her household's egg supply. Later, one day, the chicks were delivered in a truck. But not 50 chicks, it's 500 chicks. When he inquired about this with the truck driver, he was shocked to find that, 500 was mentioned in the order receipt. Cicely had no idea, and not knowing what to do with so many chicks. Cicely was forced to raise all 500 chicks, with no other means of communication and appeals to the farmer. He set up a small shed, and started rearing 500 chickens in it. He had 387 chicks alive and the others are dead at 18 weeks. Thinking that it would be difficult to sell the eggs, obtained from these chickens if he reared more, he decided to sell the excess chickens, and young roosters for meat. Accordingly, he sold the one pound chicken to nearby restaurants for 62 cents. Cicely profited considerably from this. So the next year she increased the order to 1000 chicks. Tasting the profits, Cicely increased the order 10 times in 1926, and began breeding 10,000 chicks. She was joined by her husband, David Wilmer Steele, on the broiler farm. Cicely's conquests gradually spread throughout the province. Statistics show that, 500 people were engaged in broiler production in 1928. The competition took place in the mid-1940s, when broiler farming was gaining popularity. In retrospect, it is no exaggeration to say that, it was a major turning point in broiler history. In 1945, it was a three-year competition called, The Broiler Project for Tomorrow, held in the United States. It is a competition for broiler breeders. The objective of the competition is to produce broiler chicks, those best exhibit broiler traits. The competition was conducted at three levels, namely, regional, state, and national. This is how, the first international competition was held in 1948 at Georgetown. The first place in the competition was won by, Ventress Chicken Breeding Farm from California, and the second place, was won by Arbor Acres Farm from Connecticut. The Broiler for Tomorrow Project competition has created a healthy competition, among broiler farmers in terms of chick production. In subsequent competitions, many broiler breeders participated, and introduced many new hybrid breeds, under different names to the market. Wendris Cross, Indian Cross, White Americans, Ice and Bars are some of the names to mention. Behind these names, the company secrets such as, the breeds of chickens and the breeding methods carried out. According to 1950, 67% of all broiler chickens raised in the United States, came from competition winners. In the post-1950s period, broiler farming began to spread throughout the world as a wave. First started spreading in European countries. Later, it started spreading to other countries. As a result, the demand for foster chicks has skyrocketed. For more than 50 years, the genetic composition of chickens has been greatly improved, by being subjected to intensive breeding methods. It is the improvement in gene pool, that has taken the chicken from 0.586 kg in 6th week in 1957, and 2.2 kg in the same 6th week in 2014. During the same period, the feed replacement capacity of chicken has also been reduced from 2.8 kg to 1.6 kg. It should be noted that in the history of broiler development, 
not only the field of genetics and breeding, but also the fields of nutrition, immunology, and management have played a major role. Here is the million dollar question, how did Sicily, who ordered 50 chicks and get 500 chicks shipped? The news was shocking and surprising. Yes, a clerk who took the order mistakenly added a zero instead of 50, and marked it as 500. Isn't it amazing, a wrongly added zero, creates today's broiler industry? But, that's the truth. Today's Himalayan broiler industry is based on a single zero. The credit for popularizing it goes to that lady named Sicily, 